Hello and welcome to an Overwatch video based on people who don't know how to play comp properly, I would say. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with Anna because she's my main and I do know how to deal with people with her. So I'm just going to go through a series of steps of what I think you should do as Anna. And watch out for the do's and don'ts basically. I wouldn't say competitive is really hard. You just you've got to know what you've got to do it in your team. If you're losing matches and you know you're doing something right, you know it's not you, it's your team. But obviously, you do need to call out and talk to your team. Communicate is a number one at all times. Hello. And I've known that obviously, for instance, if you pick Anna, someone will pick. Zenyatta and you know you've got to heal to your full potential because Zenyatta does not do a lot of healing at all. And with this is this was an easy match as well. We had a good team overall and you're not gonna get a good team all the time. But first of all you wanna start healing your tanks. You don't wanna do DPS, Zenyatta's there for the DPS. So you want to buff or constantly look for the Orisa, Ryan, whatever shield in your off tank. So I was just spamming Orisa there, even if she didn't need healing. And then once you, if they're all full health, you can just you have to take a pot shot at one or two DPS. But you'll never really, you don't need to unless you're in a one we on situation. Like here, don't worry about the Genji. Get the Zenyatta. Let everyone else come and deal with the game changing you know, and eventually died. And I missed that dart on the um the Hammond, but darting's different. You know, unless the ult in and you know you can get it's this a good dart, but not you're not gonna get a dart all this time. And I'm a good I, I can I can say I'm a good dart, I'm not I don't get a dart every hundred hundred percent of the time. And grenading, that's another thing you need to if say for instance your Orisa is getting spammed with damage you can just lob your grenade on there and just spam because obviously if you, when you do that your grenades are gonna help the other healers too no matter who they are it's like there they will all fall and no one no one dropped health at all and nano, nano, you know who to nano, when to nano. Ults especially. Also there's nano blade and soldier's good nano. Obviously I fucked the nano in Jump Swan. I've done the nano in this one and it was wrong. Because i have done it too late. Or too early, I can't really remember. And I think partly to blame why we won this was because their DPS didn't do a job. Their Genji tried, but the Widow just. I don't even know where they was half the game. And keep reloading as well because you've got 14 bullets. Used to, it's, it's gone up. You used to have like 6 I think or something before they didn't up to. I don't know where that grenade went, but it was. Panic anything. It's another thing as well. If you find yourself panicking in some shots, just take a breather. Don't keep spamming. Just I don't know what I do is shake my and shake my mouth and shake my arm. And then I go back. There's not a lot of times I do. Oh, I do panic most of the time, but there's not a lot of times where it just affects me too much. So like here, and then I was over woke the like. And then Zen comes to get to me. Oh. 
Obviously, when you're like for Anna, what I do especially if there's a fella, oh, you look tired. Then you wanna, if she's not fancy, then you wanna just take it down because it's three shots, and did it. And in like a one v one situation, didn't obviously you know, like, need to do, but you don't need to focus on DPS if you wanna kill. And another thing as well, Rogue can self kill. Um, so I, didn't really, I don't really need to focus on him. Not as much as the others anyway. Soldier can self kill. And uh, Ash can. Zen can, I'll be on the shield anyway. And then we'll obviously change to Moira and Moira can heal herself. And we won. That round anyway. And uh, your grenade also affects Hog's self heal, so he'll self heal himself faster or anyone else. So, soldier self heals faster. May I don't think it affects me actually. But most of them self healers. I don't know if it affects Bastion either. Yeah. And then, even if you are an anime and you want to play Anna all of the time you still need to switch if you know that you're not doing well you can always go to Moira if you can't aim like if your uh, aim's being affected by because I, I do it day to day like some days I'm spot on with my shots next days I'm half missing so I'll either play Mercy or Moira Zen most of them I don't play Brick Brick's rubbish in my book unless you're really like ghost tank or you're all just really, really fast getting on that point. If you got a point with Brick, then you get on the mid heals until she's dead, obviously. But go on, I can wait. This is my first, well, first proper commentary on Overwatch. I'm really struggling not to speak here, I don't, I don't think it's so often time. Hmm. So as you see there, Arisa again, straight up healing before any of them. Threw a grenade on her. We won this pretty easy, to be fair, like, I was back here with Sim. And road, and they would have captured the point. Well, that's a good team for you. See there, look. But just make sure you're healing the your main tank constantly, because you'll get a lot of old charge from that. Um, then obviously the off tank and DPS. The other healers do DPS before you. Obviously, if the tank is full, then do them. But it's not. There's not a lot I else I can say other than that. 1v1s with the dart or with the team and your dart it's, it's more luck really unless you really know how to lead it but that's all I can say thank you for watching and hope you liked it goodbye